Hi everybody, I'm Coach Ali and this is Steph. Welcome to our Blast Interval Training with Dumbbells series. This series is all about burning maximum calories by using your dumbbells to create sensible HIIT workouts that can help you get shredded. As you know, we're all about bringing you the most effective home dumbbell workouts. So just train along with us in the comfort of your own home and let's level up our game together. Blast series is made up of 40 seconds strength training plus 25 seconds cardio and core training. We'll cycle through the superset three times to get your heart rate up and your muscles pumping. Applying this method of interval training will allow us to burn maximum calories in the shortest time possible and deliver the high yield, low risk workouts we always aim for on this channel. When this type of physical output is coupled with a calorie controlled diet, we can really start to see the body fat disappear like it's nobody's business. All right, that's enough talking from us. Let's get started with our blast interval training home dumbbell workout. Let's, Let's go. go. As part of your dumbbell hit workout to get shredded, let's do some wide chest presses. You can see the left and the right are identical. We're dropping those elbows down nice and wide and then pressing straight up and meeting those dumbbells in the middle. Make sure you're keeping your lower back pinned against the floor. For the cardio component, we're going to do some four points fast feet. So starting in that four points position, either using the dumbbells or with your hands grounded, let's work some fast feet. Now make sure that you don't lift your knees too far away from the ground. We've got to try and maintain that four points position. This exercise is actually a lot more taxing than it looks.
An excellent addition for your home dumbbell workout, particularly working the center of your chest and your triceps, let's work some close grip presses. You can see the dumbbells are squeezing together and our elbows tuck in by our ribs. They're not hanging out wide. And then press in that vertical line all the way up. Now make sure your lower back is pinned against the floor. Now superset this exercise with planks with some side knee raises. We're positioning our hands on the dumbbell for some wrist support, but if you want to position your hands on the floor, that's okay as well. Make sure your tailbone is tucked in and those knee strikes are coming to the side outside of your elbow. Thank you. 
All right, let's continue our dumbbell calorie burning with some dumbbell chest flies. You can see our arms are extended with our elbows soft straight. Now we're moving from that vertical arm position to horizontal, pivoting only from the shoulders. And make sure that your elbows don't reach the floor at the bottom of the exercise. So make sure you stop it yourself rather than grounding it. For your cardio exercise, we're going to work some atomic push-ups. Steady control movement is the key. Now, you can see I'm springing into mine and then dropping nice and deep into that push-up. Steffi's doing a gentle version of it, and she's stepping into those atomic push-ups. For the strength component of your HIIT workout to get shredded, we're going to start with some dumbbell shoulder presses. Have your feet at shoulder width and make sure your knees are marginally bent. Make sure you're nice and heavy on your hips and they're not pushing forward. 
and then elevate and lift those dumbbells up in a vertical motion and you can touch them at the top. For the cardio component, we're gonna march on the spot. We're holding onto our dumbbells to make it a little bit more difficult, but if you need to lose the dumbbell, that's okay. Just make sure that you've got your knees raised nice and high and that you're stepping down light on the ball of your foot. Continuing our interval training with dumbbells with some lateral raises. You can see the lateral raise starts from your side and not in front of you. 
and you're moving your soft straight arms up until you've got a straight line from dumbbell to dumbbell. Make sure that your knees are marginally bent and that your feet are at shoulder width and there's no pushing forward of your hips when you do this exercise. For your cardio component, we're going to jog with high knees. Make sure you're light on your toes and that you're jogging nice and static. But if you've got trouble with your knees and your hips, you can do what Steph's doing and just marching on the spot. If you're going to go ahead and march, I recommend holding onto your dumbbells just to make it a little bit harder. This exercise is a neutral grip upright row with your dumbbells. You can see our elbows are remaining tucked in by our ribs and it's a vertical elevation of the dumbbells just running up your ribs. Make sure your feet remain at shoulder width and your knees are soft and make sure there's no hips movement during this exercise. For the cardio component, I'm doing some weighted fast feet. 
So this is just going to get your heart rate up a little bit more because it's harder than a natural fast feed, which Steph is doing. If you have trouble with your ankles or your lower back, then you can always lose the dumbbell. Let's have a go. These are alternate bent over dumbbell rows. They're an excellent addition to your home dumbbell workout. Start in the hinge, make sure that your back's remaining nice and flat. Your hands are in a neutral position in front of your shins and then pull those rows up to your ribs one at a time, making sure that you're keeping your elbows tucked in. Look for full range of motion. For your cardio exercise, we're going to work some squats with hips abduction. Make sure your feet are parallel at shoulder width. Drop down into your squat. Try to keep your posture as upright as you can. And then when you hit that abduction, make sure the dynamic leg, the swinging leg remains nice and straight. Freeze when you speak. 
we gon' talk too much, put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, hey. What you know about rolling down in the deep? I ain't going on, you can call it a freeze. We gon' talk too much, put that shit in slow motion, yeah. I feel like an astronaut in the ocean, hey. What you know about rolling down in the deep? Dumbbell reverse flies. These will get to the back of your shoulders and they're a fantastic inclusion in your interval training to burn calories and to get really nice shape in your posterior. Make sure you hinge forward with a flat back. So you've got to push your tailbone out marginally. And when you hit those reverse flies, make sure that you're not bobbing your torso up and down. You've got to stay nice and static. For the cardio component, we're going to do some cross body knee strikes. This is both a good mild cardio exercise, but it's a really good standing core exercise as well. So we're trying to connect our elbow and opposite knee together. If you find that your shoulders have had it by this point, you can lose the dumbbell and do it without them.
This is a bent over dumbbell hammer row and it's an excellent inclusion in your hip workout to get shredded. It looks like a T row with a neutral hand position. So drop the dumbbells down together at the bottom of the exercise, then pull them up nice and wide, maintaining the neutral hands. So you'll get this in your lats, but you'll really get it in your rhomboids and in the back of your shoulders as well. For the cardio exercise, we're going to work some squats with a floor touch. You can see we're alternating those floor touches, lefts and rights, and then making sure that our squat is nice and deep and just trying to keep your upper body relatively upright.
Your strength exercise for this dumbbell HIIT workout is some Romanian deadlifts. Make sure you start with your feet parallel at shoulder width. You're hinging forward, pushing your tailbone out to make sure that your back remains nice and straight. Drop those dumbbells down vertically and then squeeze with your erectors and glutes and get into that upright position. For the cardio component of your home dumbbell workout, we're going to work some side to side shuffles. Now you can see these are nice wide steps with the feet coming together at one side and then moving across to the other side. Make sure your knees are nice and bent and make sure you're not leaning forward. Try to maintain your posture. We want to try and keep our quadriceps active throughout this exercise. Your strength exercise is a sumo deadlift with your legs nice and wide and your toes pointing out at 45 degrees. Make sure that your knees are following the same line as your toes. So as you drop into that deadlift, 
Make sure you're pushing your knees wide so that you're feeling it in your sartorius inside of your legs. Keep your back straight when you're hinging and drive up using your glutes. For the second exercise, you can see I'm working some kneel and squats or commando squats if you like. The trick is to be nice and gentle on your knees as you're dropping down and then squat nice and low when you work your way up. Now, if mobility prevents you from doing this exercise, just do some squat pulses. The strength component of this next superset is some booty squats. What you're doing is you're dropping down into the low part of a squat position, then you're shifting your hips and hinging forward into the bottom of a deadlift and driving with your glutes and working your way back up into your standing position. This is a fantastic exercise for your glutes and your erectors. For the second component of your interval training, we're going to work some sumo pulses. Make sure that your feet and knees are nice and wide. Make sure your toes are pointing out. Drop nice and low and start hitting those pulses.
As part of our dumbbell calorie burning guys, let's work some glute bridges. These are traditional glute bridges with both of your feet grounded. Make sure they're at shoulder width for comfort and then just elevate your hips straight up. You're looking for a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your knees at the top of the exercise. For the cardio components, we'll work some cross body mountain climbers. So you can see I'm doing it the traditional way, going high pace into the exercise. And you can see that Steph is stepping into hers. So that's a modification. If you're having trouble keeping up the mountain climbers, especially in the second or third set, then make that modification if you need it.
Dumbbell Goblet Squat is a great addition to our Dumbbell hit Workout for today. We're doing it with our feet parallel at shoulder width. We're dropping down nice and low. Now you can see I'm making sure that my elbows touch my thighs at the bottom of the exercise. So this will ensure that my squat is deep enough. Now the trick is to keep your upper body nice and upright. Try not to lean forward too much. To complement this, we'll do a core exercise. We'll do some dead bugs. You can see opposite arm and leg extending as we go into the supine extension. And then we're coming back up in the middle where you've got both your lower abs and upper abs engaged. These are dumbbell side squats. 
You can see we're starting with our feet parallel and it's a really wide stance. The balance of your weight should stay in the middle the whole time. You've got to make sure you keep your knee aligned with your toes and try to keep your upper body as upright as you can keep it. Work on the depth of your squat and feel that stretch of muscle in the middle of your thighs. For the cardio element, we're going to work some crisscrosses. Look in front of you and keep your upper body upright. I'm making sure that I'm staying nice and light on the ball of my feet. If you want to avoid the jumping, then you can just do what Steph's doing. Step to the side and back with one leg and then switch and do the other leg as well. I told you that I never would 
All right, guys, let's keep working on our dumbbell hit workout and let's get shredded. These are cross body crunches. You can see we're using two light dumbbells and then reaching over and touching the dumbbell to your opposite knee. Make sure you're lifting both shoulder blades off the ground when you do it. And just put that little rotation in there in order to get to the opposite side. We'll complement this with some basic push ups. Now you can see we're going at a reasonable pace. I'm doing regular push-ups on my toes and just making sure there's good depth in them. Steph is also doing nice deep push-ups, but she's doing them from her knees. And again, she's also keeping a good pace throughout as well. This is an abs rollover and the way we're doing this exercise, it's a fantastic workout for your entire abdominal range all the way from your lower abs to your upper abs. 
You can see we're holding onto the dumbbell and we've lifted our head and shoulder blades. So this is engaging your upper abs and then hitting those rollovers with your knees nice and straight and trying to cover good range of motion. We'll complement this with some side knee strikes from a plank. So just alternating lefts and rights and making sure that your knees are coming outside of your elbows. This will be a great contraction in your obliques and your intercostals as well. Let's continue our dumbbell hit workout with some Russian twists. Now you can see our knees are bent and our heels are grounded. There's no back or forth movement with our torso. It's purely a rotation from the left to the right and we're carrying those dumbbells across with us. The best place to look is look at your dumbbells. Your head needs to move in order for your shoulders to rotate. 
To support your interval training with dumbbells, let's work some mountain climbers. Now you can see I'm doing the regular version where I'm springing into my steps and just getting my heart rate up. If you've got issues with your back or your knees or you're just not comfortable springing into it, then just do the mild variation like Steph. This exercise is an alternate obliques tilt and it's an excellent way of tightening up your love handles. Make sure that your legs are relatively wide apart and make sure your knees are straight for this one. When you tilt to the side, make sure that you're not swinging your arms. So you can see the dumbbell is in the same spot relative to our head, irrespective of the angle that we're taking. We'll superset it with squats with hip abductions. So you can see we're dropping down into a nice deep squat and then coming up and hitting that hips abduction with a straight knee. So the dynamic knee is straight, the support knee has a slight bend in it. Oh, my God. 
Messi. For this superset in your interval training with dumbbells, let's work some bent over tricep kickbacks. Start by hinging forward, making sure that your back is nice and straight. Your knees are bent, your feet are at shoulder width, so you've got a strong base. And then we're working those kickbacks on both sides. Make sure your elbows remain nice and still and try and extend those arms out all the way behind you. For the cardio exercise, we'll do some commando squats or up and down squats if you like. So you can see I'm going into a gentle kneel and then coming back up into the low position in a squat. Now, if you've got trouble dropping down to your knees, that's okay. You can do some squat pulses the way Steph's doing it.
well done for finishing your blast dumbbell interval training workout at home and progressing through our intense calorie burning series. If you enjoyed your workout with us, then please give us a thumbs up and let us know how you did today. We're always interested in reading your comments and learning more about you. If you're finished working out for today, then you should consider cool down stretching with our physio Daphne. There's a link of her stretching playlist at the end of this video, so be sure to check it out. As always, thank you for training with Coach Ellie and I. We look forward to bringing you another blast calorie burning hit dumbbell workout shortly. Take care of yourselves and each other.